everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are going to take the crust out of the store with the Devo digger and with the dung spreader on and we're going to go spread it out on the tillage ground that will be going in for winter barley later on in the year. So as you can see we've reversed the bucket on the digger so that Father Phil is able to get in and scoop it and then being able to empty it. The other way around he, um, oh is this you? He couldn't keep it scooped up enough to actually keep it in the bucket. So with that turn, he's also after fitting a, no, yes, there's a wire, but a wireless camera to it. So it's on the magnetic mount there. Now the wire is just for bringing the batch power to, from the battery to the camera, as there's no electricity going up the boom. But um, it's that, that wireless camera is to go on the harvester for the spout. And um, just before it goes on that, we we'll to put on this for this job. So. Father Phil can see what he's doing. K2 is on and we're going to spread just on the top field above the rape. Am I going to go up the road or through the rape? As long as you're not bringing up up. Right. So we'll have to wait and see how it comes out. But you can turn yourself and be face for out. Well, you're not. How are you going? I thought you'd boom it that way around and you won't have to be booming it across the tractor, no? That way. I'll just back. What? You were faced out. I'll be square to me that I'm just letting it off. It's not going to be like digging out of a bucket, it's going to come out. If you were the, the spreader straight from me, right? It'll come out the best. Right, so turn around. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, adjust the camera. That's much better. Okay, turn it down. What does it look like? It looks fine, but what's the point on this thing is all... Yeah, it flashes, that's to do with the uh, uh, lights. Anyways, all right, I'll turn this round. We get the crust out of the store. So this is what our store looks like, as you can tell. Great vegetation on it. So there is. So there is, we reckon, anywhere from three to four foot of a crust of pure just solids uh, the last time the crust was taken out of it it's done the very same way with the digger but it's four or five years ago it's a long time since the crust has gone over the propeller shaft for agitating the store is all but gone you could say it's it's this is a quite an old store and agitate the propeller for agitating is is basically useless it's fair bit of stuff to come over now steady as he goes still kind of gets in on it and we've been waiting we have a nice bit of slurry in there to spread and the reason we haven't spread it yet is to keep the level high so it makes it a little bit easier to get out the digger so it is going to be fairly sloppy so i'll probably go up the fields rather than out on the road just in case i'd ever lose any of them but yeah steady as she goes and we get this slurry out or this this crust out here at long last give us a great bit of storage space getting this out because this crust takes up an awful lot of space on us so just while i'm waiting to get filled um we're gonna have a look at the gorilla rip it is just over knee high at the minute fantastic crop of stuff now father phil did put out um a ton of protected urea across the whole lot so the tree fields but he run out you can see a line just across get on the camera now across there you can see the line where he run out just a bit above that he didn't have he he might have been 200 kilos short or maybe 150 kilos short of nitrogen just to give it an extra little push and yeah it is fantastic crop of stuff absolutely fantastic so the calves will be coming out here um the first week of august we'll be putting out the first calves onto it uh that's that's kind of the plan just to start heating it because yeah when it's that high it's there they're about ready to start heating so huge crop of stuff very very happy with it when did we saw it i'm trying to remember when we saw this august can't remember I remember when we saw the book. Yeah, very, very happy with it. So, anyway, so go back in and see as he gets filled. Yeah. 
So, we're out here now where we want to spread. So I have spread everything kind of back from the beech trees back to that hedge already with dung, just the last drags out of the dung pit. So I'm going out with this, just where I haven't done. So here back to the rib, to the gorilla rib. And as you can tell, there's a flush of weeds on this. And the reason there's a flush of weeds on this is when we were tilling the bit for the rib, we tilled the whole field. The reason behind that is we're hoping for to get a sterile till on this. So we've tilled it once, all this flush of weeds has come up. We should be able to spray that off and then till it again and put in our winter barley. And we should have very little weeds as this flush of weeds we got now that's taken up a lot of the seed that was in the ground. And that's just the theory behind us, what's known as a sterile till. And you can see the bit that got the dung, it's a little bit greener than where I am now. So, yeah, it's not going to take too long to empty the spreader as this stuff is quite runny actually. Running out of the trailer, or the muck spreader. So, yeah, that's what we have to do now. Spread whatever a couple of load we have and spread back towards that direction. Probably spread it a bit lighter than I am. Just try and get an even spread across all of the field back to the griller rib. Just to make sure everything has a bit for the winter barley going out. So I think that's... I mean, they're there about empty now. So just about made it to the tree. So I'm gonna go a bit faster next time. Turn it off, door down. Away we go. We'll stick to the fields. Um, I could actually probably go back down the road, but I don't really want to bring muck out. So it's just as handy to stick to the one track across the field and, and help. But you can see the flush of weeds we got there. Huge flush of weeds. So hopefully, our sterile till will work and we'll have a very little uh, weed problem for the winter barley going in. So, in theory, in theory. You can see to the line where the, the rape is. So, but winter barley will be going in here, but the others where the rape is going, that will be going into beet then, fodder beet next year, or probably sugar beet. The same beet that we've sown this year. So far that beet is absolutely unbelievable. And until we get it pulled and start feeding it, that's when we'll really be able to say, yeah, that was great stuff. But so far, so good. So we're planning on putting that area in there, roughly about six acres is what we were aiming for. So it's in or around that. But yeah. Anyways, we'll go back to the yard, get another load. We get this door emptied out. Just taking the camera down and Father Phil has a bit of company. Huh? Can't go anywhere now without Alfie. That's my new bestie. <laughs> Your new best friend. That's my new bestie. So it's working quite well. About half the store out now in two load. So I'll probably get another tree over. But going very very well now. Very happy. Anyways, back up the field, spread another bit, and this time we'll go a bit faster.
Another fill is absolutely flying it there. It's just kind of, he's down now to just kind of from there back. And then a lot of it is kind of all broken up. It is starting to get a wee bit hard to um, pick up good buckets of stuff as everything's kind of starting to push back as the arm goes in. But you can see how much the store has already gone down by. Big, you can see maybe a bit better that side. So you can see the kind of upper level of dirt. That's where it started off at. So just about two inches below the second ring. And it's already gone down. It's not like we're letting out slurry right? That's just getting crust out. It's bringing down the level. Going quite well for us. And it's just going to free up that extra bit of storage space for the winter, which is great. So hopefully now he's able to get that last bit, whether he can pull it to him or something, I don't know, but hopefully now. So that's the downside to turning the bucket around but it makes it easier to get it out it also makes it harder to pull it to you as all it wants to do is push away from you it's just on the edge of it yeah anyways getting on well there now hopefully we get the majority of this thick stuff out or the majority of the crust out and then all them little smaller lumps we might be able to get a bit of an agitation on with the pipe flowing into it or they might come out through the sluice maybe if we're lucky not going too bad there now at all yeah a bit of the, the grass is the devil yeah i was just it keeps push, pushing away from you when you try and turn up the bucket aye but you're, look at yeah that's your tater take what's left in it we might put another two load out of it some other evening but it's 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 just a build up of old stuff and that's the only way you get rid of it yeah well it that's what's that that's the fifth load yeah, it's five load out. Yeah, that's five load out, but it's gone down about. It was there, and it's, down and it's there. down to about there now. Yeah, it's down about two foot. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just to get that whole heavy crust out of it now before the winter comes in. Yeah. Um, it's just built up. It just wasn't that. You're happy, happy with how the digger went? Oh, should the whole digger always goes well. Camera worked well. Camera's well. Is it so the evening is a little bit bright? Yeah. To be able to see what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, if I had a duller evening, it'd be a lot easier. Yeah. It's very hard to to judge your distances yeah because like you only can make one mistake with that <laughs> anyways so i'll go spread this i think we're going to a bit of barley. move on to maybe get back to the harvest blow up into a better evening than we were expecting um but the store yeah the store is there or thereabouts now it's just you get very hard again to load out of it with the digger just the way everything is kind of starting to push away from the digger but um yeah, no, it's not bad now. We might be able to, with that amount of heavy stuff going over, we might be able to get it broke up handy enough with that old jet blowing into it, maybe. Any bit of luck. So, we go put out this load and we go ready to get the trailer on a half an hour to go cut a bit. Yeah, no, not bad now. Work, worked quite well and weren't too long ahead either. So, well, we'll get this spread. Headland is a bit bouncy, so it is. So we're spreading away out here, nice last load. Going out there, ground tipping along, just putting it out fairly light now. But um, yeah, so from there, kind of back is done, but from there, that way isn't done. So what does that mean? It's probably put some slurry out there uh, on that half when we plow the ground we may mean until I haven't really decided yet what way we're going to till the ground but we'll most likely end up putting slurry out that side quite likely I'd say just to try and balance the nutrients on both sides of the field as by the time we get sowing this it'll be too late to put out artificial fertilizer so we'll be down to just slurry and we've all our dung spread so we're not going to be able to scrape up another bit to even out the field so that's kind of how that is but it's nearly empty now it take too much now to get it empty and we'll do a bit of oil in the seat too it's not too bad now that is it that is the store near enough there a bit of agitating we get the slurry out of that we should be golden very happy with how the digger went, very happy with how the job went, took not a lot of time, a bit slow filling it, but at the same time five load, we've, we've a lot of work done there. 
in an hour and a half so quite happy with how that went the rape we've been driving through there is looking absolutely brilliant uh brilliant and we are that little bit short hun dung up there so we'll have to supplement with maybe a bit slurry when we go till an hour now we just haven't decided yet but it'll be october before we start sewing anything so the plan now is to get geared up go back harvesting so finally the weather's kind of dried up again so we can get back at the harvest so yeah i don't know is there much more to say uh sorry for the mic not being the best maybe in the last video or two and uh, my 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 usual microphone is broken so i'm waiting on one to come but after, once that comes we'll be back to the right standard but anyways i think i'm gonna leave it at that you have any comments any like that as always hit me in the comments down below Anyways, that's it for me. For please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Good luck.